Jess Garrett and welcome to Surfing Australia TV. The Subway Summer Surf Series attracts our best under 16 and under 18 year old Aussie surfers. The comp has been going off and to kickstart today's show we're heading to Clifton Beach in Tasmania for Event 6. Welcome to round six of the Subway Summer Surf Series here at Sunny Rebounds in Southern Tasmania. Light northeasterly wind, moderate two to three foot peaky surf on this tricky break. Subway Summer Surf Series is a fantastic uh, event for the up and coming junior surfers around Australia. Uh, it's really great to be holding this event down in Tasmania and give the kids another opportunity down here. Oh look, I'm absolutely stoked to win the under 21 girls division of the Subway Summer Surf Series. It was so good to be back in Tassie and catch up with all my good mates around all around the state and also I met some wicked people from like, you know, interstate. I love competing in general because it's so much fun and it really um, motivates you to get out and free surfing when the waves are really bad and especially in the Subway comp because you get free Subway and cookies. I like to stash 200 cookies in my hat for later so I'm really looking forward to getting into those. Um, yes, yeah, so I was stoked to win the under 21 final. Conditions are a little bit bumpy and hard, a uh, real strong wind, but there's a few little runners if you get the right one. Yeah, sort of, I lucked into a few, crossed a little bit from everyone else, I crossed from the rebound. Yeah, it was a bit of fun, the boys were tearing. The original Source Australian Board Riders Battle is the biggest grassroots board riders event in the history of Australian surfing. The eight event national series headed to beautiful Phillip Island in Victoria for event seven. And the team event all together like just brings two different components into into the board riders. It's not just the tag team, so it makes it a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's really good. I love being a part of a team. Um, I've grown up with all the guys who I'm surfing with, so it's amazing. And I love supporting my club and being able to come back for my own contest and be a part of a club um, environment. It's really amazing and always really fun. Footballer puts on a jersey 22 times a year. We only get to do it once or twice. So to represent the club that is, has given me my career and really set me up with my friends and my lifestyle, it's such an honor. And I, I feel like we're almost more passionate than you would be if you're a footballer. If you get a good one and you sort of get a good score and you flick off and hear everyone cheering, and then you get pretty psyched up. Nice to go and win if you could, but you know there's a lot of a lot of really good quality clubs that have a lot of confidence. I'm just stoked to get up there and have a crack against all the best water riders in Australia. It's so good for our club moving forward, and oh, I can't wait to get up there and just give a good crack. It isn't just about having natural ability. It's about unlocking your body's maximum potential. We believe through state-of-the-art scientific research 
the most advanced athlete tested product development, we will unlock the power to build the perfect athlete. Real athletes, real science, muscle farm. Just from a young age, I've always been at the beach and started as a nipper and then progressed into the board riders and it's kind of become my second family. Like We're such a tight club at Narrabeen, we've had so much history and yeah, just being a part of it, it's really, I know there's so many guys here that inspire me and it just helps my career and so, and I just pretty much live at the beach here and everybody's just your mate and pretty much like your brothers. The ocean, I, don't know, I think you can get in the ocean and it clears your head of everything and it's just, you, know, you can't. Anybody who's been in the ocean knows the feeling, you can't really describe it. Surfing, it's my life. It's, I couldn't think doing anything else. It's my job, it's, it provides me with every bit of happiness I ever get, really. So, yeah, just, I don't know, I couldn't ever see myself not being a surfer. One of the major stepping stones in the development of young Aussie surfers is the Wahoo Surfer Groms Comps, which is a 10 event series held across the country for kids aged from under 8 to under 14. We were on the Gold Coast as the Groms took over. Wahoo Grom Comps are like, it's real sick because you get to see all the Groms here playing all the games, good surf. Um, yeah, it's just overall real fun for all the kids and groms and stuff. Probably Jagger Bartholomew, um, Kai Tandler, they rip, eh? Shred, yeah. Yeah, they're good surfing. I love it, yeah. Heaps of games to play and, um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Coaching for all surfers. Doesn't matter what level of surfing you're at, we've got coaching to cater for all abilities. It's not about us telling you how to surf. We listen to you and help improve your technique so that you enjoy your surfing more. Expert coaching, video analysis, surfing technique, strength and conditioning. Become a better surfer. Get online, book a camp at surfingaustraliahpc.com. Australia's surfing stars of the future will be on show when the 10 event Wahoo Surfer Groms Comp Series begins in September. For boys and girls aged 8 to 14, Wahoo's got you covered. With beach games, giveaways and tons of prizes, it isn't just action in the surf. Go to surfingaustralia.com now and sign up for your chance to win an all expenses paid 3 day Wahoo Surf Camp at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Wahoo Surfer Groms Comps, Aussie as. Earlier in the show, we were in Tassie for the Subway Summer Surf Series. Time now to head to the warmer waters of the Gold Coast in Queensland for event six of this huge national junior event. To have something like this, 
you know, national wide too and have a series is, you know, it's amazing. As a kid, we didn't have this kind of series. We didn't have events Australia wide. You know, really thanks to Subway for, for coming on board and, and putting this program together and, and supporting, you know, junior surfing. Good way to start off the year, stoked to win and happy, yeah. Just to remember being event, around events as a kid and just the camaraderie, you know, you make so much friendship around, you know, Australia wide and I guess as these guys mature into, you know, I guess uh, developing pros, you know, they're all going to have that, you know, that good base of of competing but also friendship. Yeah, the Subway Summer Surf Series is, you know, it's really tough. There's so many good kids and with the waves pumping, anyone can get an eight or higher, so yeah, it's good. The last couple events the last couple of weeks I've come over to win so I'm super stoked so um, yeah I'm pretty confident 2015 hopefully it's a good one. Whether it's surfing George, Shift Sands or Chopu, it's all heavy duty. Heavy waves require heavy duty equipment that's built to last. Outside of the surf, my life is no different. And that's why I use Milwaukee Power Tools. Follow me on my surfing adventures while I take on my biggest challenge yet, building my own home. Introducing the all-new Kluger, Australia's latest and greatest place to raise a family. Time now for some more action from the original source Australian board riders battle. We're heading to Kayama in southern New South Wales for event eight. of all surfing, of actually of all professional surfers. As you know, we started out doing like Connest in our hometown and then we'd venture out and travel up and down the coast. So it's quite a grounding thing. Oh, those four skin tears this morning just killed me. It's so important, I mean, you're with your close mates and everyone wants to do well for their club, so it's tough sometimes, nerve-wracking. Way more nerve-wracking doing this than one of the heats in the QS. You know, I've loved team sports ever since I was young, you know, soccer, touch, football, anything team-related, absolutely love. And I love this now, except that you know, it's a team sport, but you're out in the ocean by yourself, so it's like, it's all on you. It's more pressure than I've ever felt competing on the world tour, so it's, um, that's definitely a new thing.
so fantastic to have the flag of Kawara, you know, at the finals would be amazing. Subway Summer Surf Series will put junior surfing on a new wave this summer. With 13 massive events. Kicking off with under 16 and 18 boys and girls divisions. Don't miss out on competing against the best junior surfers in Australia. Adding to the high stakes, don't miss the chance to win a three day all expenses paid Subway Surf Camp to a Surfing Australia's High Performance Centre. Go to surfingaustralia.com to enter. Subway Summer Surf Series, eat fresh, surf hard. I think every surfer knows that getting bowled and being in that being in that that tube and that feeling is just a great feeling I guess. I, I don't think anything would be better. Obviously representing your club and um, being being a part of something, like feeling feeling like you're welcome is like the Voca's very, very good at that. People call me Pigsy because uh, I used to be a uh, bit of a pig back in the day, I still am, I just tend to really like eat a lot I guess, that's where I kind of got the nickname from, yeah. <laughs> I think the best surfer in our club is has got to be Adrian, he's just style, technique and just, oh, he's just an all time good surfer I guess. As we've seen, the Subway Summer Surf Series is attracting the best under 16 and under 18 year old surfers from right around the country. The ambassadors are 2012 World Champ Joel Parkinson and World Surf League Women's World Tour competitor Laura Anava. Time now for an exclusive interview with Laura as Parko takes over the mic. What was it like when you won the world title? <laughs> Sorry. So when I became... <laughs> I'll be able to answer that in like... And it's already 12 years. months. In 12 months. At what point did you realise that you could actually surf? My dad started pushing me in when I was about three years old, I think. But then I got into gymnastics and did that non-stop and wasn't really into surfing until I was about nine years old and then was turned into a straight up tomboy and surfed with the boys every day and it's just turned into an amazing lifestyle and career. <laughs> What's something that no one knows you're scared of? I have a really big fear of um, running over Joel in the surf and hurting his nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, got over that this morning pretty easy. <laughs> What does Subway mean to you? I just remember being 12 years old and training with world champion Barton Lynch and he would he would take us training, we'd go for a full two day camp with him and we'd surf in the morning for like hours and then we'd always lunch break and we'd always go to Subway. And I remember being 12 years old and it was kind of when Subway had just started being big in Australia and we were all just like, oh this place is the best and so we'd get our I got my little kids meal with my cookie and and we literally just surf all day and just have our have our subway and that was us, it was set. Well what fuels you? I'd say in my life right now surfing is what I love to do, competing is my job, but just being in the ocean is and riding waves is my straight up passion. Do you have a party trick and what is it? <laughs> I'd probably say I can do the Nutbush City Limit dance, pretty awesome. That and the Macarena, I will oh, do man. the Macarena all night long. The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre, coaching for all surfers. Doesn't matter what level of surfing you're at, expert coaching, video analysis, surfing technique, strength and conditioning. Book a camp at surfingaustraliahpc.com.
set your sights on this breathtaking view. From Manly all the way to DY, these beaches are a slice of Sydney paradise. And this place in particular is home to seven times women's world surfing champion, Miss Lane Beachley. What makes this part of the world so special to you? Well, it's obvious that we have the most beautiful beaches in the world. And I can say that having traveled the world on the ASP World Tour for 20 years as a professional surfer. And from a surfer's point of view, the conditions that we have here cater to every single surfing level. Right, so it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert. Nope, we've got beginners down at Manly and Collaroy. So we have to say that the beaches here in Sydney can cater to all surfing levels, but ultimately, they are the most beautiful. I love a variety of conditions. So I surf at Manly, I surf at Freshwater, and then I go up to, to DY Point to really challenge myself in barreling waves, or I go and challenge myself against the crowds at Narrabeen. But ultimately, we have the safest beaches in the world. A lot of our beaches are patrolled year round. Wow. And like I said, we have conditions that can challenge even the best surfers in the world. So many beautiful spots around here to choose from, whether you're a surfer, swimmer, bodyboarder, doesn't matter. I think it's about time that I went and tested the theory myself. Time to hit the water. That time of year again when all eyes are on southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales as the points start to stir. Check it out as the crew from LiveSurf.tv were on hand to get all the early action. How is it down there? Is there barrels? Did you get any? Yeah you did. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, see that thing?
If you want to see plenty more amazing surfing videos, just head to mysurf.tv. Well, that's all we have time for on today's show. Thanks for tuning in. It's been awesome to have your company. For more info on anything that you've seen on the show, just head to our website and FYI, you can follow us and keep up to date on social media. I'm Jess Garrett and I'll see you next time for more Surfing Australia TV.